Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. Highly populated areas like New York City can produce anywhere from 10,000 to 25,000 tons of waste in a single day. Even with advanced recycling efforts, that number is continually growing. The question becomes, what can be done about it? Landfills have long been the answer, but soil contamination and methane buildup presents a real problem. Many cities subscribe to an exothermic process like incineration as an option. While this produces a smaller waste field and excess heat that can be used for power generation, the air pollution is unacceptable by many standards. One answer may be pyrolysis. Pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is the decomposition of material using heat in the absence of oxygen. The power of the sun when combined with a large Fresnel lens or parabolic shape can produce concentrated heat to a specific point exceeding 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. For this demonstration, a clear glass jar is used with a sealed lid which has a small hole punctured in it and tape acting as a check valve. The container is filled with wood shavings and a few leaves to act as a dark surface catalyst. Submerged in a three gallon bath, neodymium magnets hold the air filled container in place. The Fresnel lens is focused on the material inside the container and not the glass surface. Within a few seconds, the small amount of oxygen present in the air trapped when closing the container is quickly consumed and the pyrolysis process begins. The water protects the glass from breaking by leaching heat from the exterior. Excess gases are constantly vented from the check valve throughout this process. Within 15 minutes, our three gallon bath of water has reached 140 degrees Fahrenheit. After 25 minutes of continual sun exposure, we stop the test. This confirms that the sun can be used for this process creating char, and a larger scaled version could handle several tons of garbage a day while providing high pressured steam as a byproduct. 